Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi uh, And good morning anak-anak. Uh, kita jumpa lagi. Uh, lagi satu sesi dalam perlis tuition online bahasa Inggeris, English language and I am Cikgu Azrul Rizal Azizi. Okay. Now before we start, uh, I would like to recall back what we have uh, learn in the previous session on writing comprehension. Okay, today what are we are going to do is that we are going to kita macam mana kita nak aplikasikan okay, apa yang kita belajar what we have learned earlier so we, we I will show you how are you going to apply it in writing a short story okay, now before we move before we move on before we go to lesson proper today, uh, we would like to discuss or reflect back what we have learned earlier in our previous session on question words. Okay, I'm going to concentrate on five only today on your question word. That is who for people, what for any uh, people, animal and things, where, place, when, time, why, reasons, hots, and then how process hots also hots question okay uh, for those who have joined us today uh, hots uh, stands for high order thinking skill atau kemahiran berfikir aras tinggi okay i am going to concentrate on this five uh, question words for you today okay now how are we going to write a short story based on this question uh, one h five w Okay, uh, before we start, uh, there's a thing I want to share with you. I have to benda yang I think I need to share with you because some of my children in school, they still have problem in this area. We are going to talk about a lot of grammar aspect today. Many have been touched by teacher Azmira, but I'm going to show you, okay, what is verb to be or verb agreement. Okay. Uh, uh, if you look at the table here, okay, pronouns I, you, he, she, they, we, okay, present and past. Uh, verb to be for I is am. I is the only personal pronoun that use the verb to be am. And you, we use are. He, she, we use is. They and we, we, we use are. Singular and plural. Okay, singular and plural. He, she is singular. They, we are plural. But you are a little bit different. You, even though it's singular, but it's using are. Okay, that's the rules. Okay, in past, we will change M to was, R to were, is to was, and R to were. Okay, he, she, we will cover. I will show you. Okay, there are only three verbs to be. M, is, and R. Okay, in the present tense. But if we change it, if we want to write in past tense, okay, is will become was and are will become were. In the sentence, present, he is walking to school now. He is walking to school now. But if you change it into past tense, okay, past continuous will become is. It is about the same, the sentence is about the same, the verb will not be changed, will not be changed at all. But the verb to be, he was walking to school just now, sebentar tadi. Okay, these are one of the aspect we are going to discuss on how to write the short stories. Okay, one of the grammar aspect in writing. Okay, next. Okay, now we go to lesson proper for today. Now, kalau kita pilih satu tajuk, contoh, now, uh, it's not late. It's not too late for me to wish you uh, selamat hari raya. Okay, I forgot to wish you earlier just now. Okay, kalau kita nak buat, for example, we want to write a short story on how tangan terkena bunga api, contoh. Okay, sparkles. Okay, now we go back to what I mentioned earlier. Ask questions. 5W and 1H. 5W and 1H. The one that we discussed earlier. Okay. If you look at the table there, the spider web, okay, this is one of the way how are you going to write, how are you going to brainstorm ideas and to write down. Okay, we will discuss one by one before we go on how to write. 
Okay. Ask question 5W1H that we discussed earlier, the 5W, the who, the where, the why, the when, and the how. Okay? Now, we look at the first aspect, the who. Okay, the who here, that actually we are using it for only people. And it is used, okay, to ask question. And in this aspect of question, you must know articles, pronouns, singular plural nouns, adjective and quantifiers. Okay, I believe that teacher Azmira have touched a lot of this grammar aspect. Okay, this is what I discussed with her. When I teach you writing, she will be touching on a lot of grammar aspects. So you will be able to apply what she have taught you in how to write. Okay, articles, pronouns. Same if you ask the question what. In one of the aspects, what is for object and animals. And it's also we be uh, talking about articles, pronouns, singular, plural nouns, adjective, quantifiers. You need to know all this. For you, uh, for you to make you to make you a better uh, writer, a storyteller. Okay. Now, we go to actions. In what you must not tenses. Just now we discuss. Okay. Verb to be, and verb to have. Okay. You must know this. Okay. If you look at all the green uh, words there. These are the grammar aspects that you need to know to make you a better writer, storyteller, or to make you uh, more, uh, how to say, uh, to make you understand, uh, untuk membuatkan kamu jadi seorang penulis yang baik, kamu perlu tahu semua tata bahasa di sini, grammar aspect. Okay? Kemudian, kamu kita bercakap tentang where. Di mana? Where? Okay, di sini kita akan bercakap tentang place and locations tempat atau kedudukan satu benda. Dan apa grammar aspect atau tata bahasa that you need to know? It's compulsory for you to know all this. I hope you jot down all the things there and you have to go through. Okay, mana bidang-bidang aspect uh, that you are not very familiar of, you need to do homework. Okay, if you want to write a good story, you want to write a good, good comprehension, you must know all this grammar aspect. Okay, uh, selain pada grammar aspect, you must also know a lot of words. Like I say, use dictionary to seek for words, the words that you need to write. Okay, we are uh, we are Malaysians. It's either you are Malay, Chinese or Indians. But if you are Malay, then you tend to think in Bahasa Melayu. Kita fikir dalam Bahasa Melayu. So, kamu boleh jot down, brainstorm ideas, tulis satu cerita uh, dalam Bahasa Melayu. Then, you have to change the word. You have to change it into English. You have to look for a proper word to change the word that you need to write the story. Okay? Place and location. Uh, you must know preposition of place. Preposition ada banyak. Preposition of time, preposition of place. Okay, yang pertama kamu kena tahu in, at, on, along dan banyak lagi. Ini adalah contoh. Okay, in, at, on, along. Saya tak muat nak bubuh semua. I cannot fit all the preposition in that column. So, you have to go through. And then, kita bercakap tentang when yang 5W tadi. Okay, when, bila. When, automatically when we talk about when, then we are talking about time and sequence. Sequence of a story, time when it is happening. So, yang ini kita akan masukkan juga di sini yang bahasa Melayu say penanda wacana or discourse markers. Okay, kamu kena masuk. To write a good, a really good story, your sequence of the story mesti teratur dan elok. Okay, kemudian kamu kena tahu preposition of time. Tadi, preposition of place. Sekarang ni preposition of time. In, at, on, lebih kurang sama. But the use in the context are different. 
if I'm able, I will show you how to use it afterward. Okay, and then the other W is Y. Okay, ini yang kita kata uh, banyak pada kebat. Okay, kerana apa? Sebab dia bagi reasons. Okay, dia bagi reasons atau dia akan bercakap lebih banyak kepada uh, uh, hubungan kita kata cause and effect relationship. Okay, kita akan guna banyak because, for. Okay. Cause and effect relationship. Kemudian kita juga akan banyak menggunakan infinitive to. Okay. Okay. Satu saja infinitive to. If you are using to in a sentence, whether it is present tense, past tense, past continuous, or whatever it is, when there's an infinitive to in front of the verb, then dia akan jadi balik kepada root word. Ini adalah basic atau balik perkata akar. Kita tak kata to play, to play, okay? To play, okay? And then, dia ada orang who, what, where, when and why. Baik, sekarang ada satu saja H kita akan bincang di sini. That is how, okay? How. Ini juga kebat kemana berfikir aras tinggi. In this part of questioning, you will be dealing a lot on process ataupun distance, measurement, quantity. Okay? Kita akan cakap how much, how long, how far. Banyak di sini. Okay? Ini, this is the table that I create, uh, uh, that I did for you. If you are able to jot down, please jot down everything. Okay, bila kita tulis lagi, kita, mari kita nak tulis uh, cerita, we want to write a story. Uh, this are the thing that we will deal with. Kita akan berkisar tentang yang ini saja. Okay, spider web ini. Okay, next kita akan pergi kepada how to use all this question in writing your short story atau writing your comprehension. Okay, kita sebut tadi pasal Hari Raya, alright? So, takkan kita nak terus cerita pasal kena bunga api? No. Kita akan cerita pasal Hari Raya. So, I purposely choose this topic because kita, we just celebrate Hari Raya and everything is fresh in your memory. Banyak perkara pasal Hari Raya di kepala kamu. Jadi, I purposely choose this topic. Okay, now. Uh, saya letak di sini, I put here. Half of the circle of the spider web just now. Ask question. We'll be dealing on uh, who, what, and where. Okay, who for people? So we'll ask again. What for object, animals, and actions? And where is for place and locations? Okay. Bila kita dapat macam ni, when we have things like this, macam saya kata tadi, do not uh, do not limit your writing when you do not have the words. You must always have a dictionary on your hand, okay? By your side, dictionary. Kamu boleh guna dictionary yang bahasa Inggeris Melayu, English and Malay, okay? In order for you, if you are writing, then you are stuck with a certain words that you are not sure of, then cepat-cepat, okay? Seek the word in dictionary and it will not stop you from writing, okay? First, you ask question, who? Siapa? Okay, sekarang ni, kita, uh, you are not given a word, you are just given a context to write a story about someone yang terkena cerita pasal hari raya lah. And orang yang terkena tangan dia bunga api. So, uh, in my session earlier, I did discuss when we talk about who, we are going to talk about the main character in the story. Okay, the main character. Okay, I put here Zubay and his family. Okay, Zubay and his family. This is the people in the story. And then I ask the question, the next question is what? Okay, what are they doing? Apa yang mereka buat dalam gambar tu? Okay, kalau gambar dia beri, if not, you are writing freely. You want to write, okay, the picture is in your head. Okay, what are they doing? Celebrate Hari Raya. Right. And then the next question you are going to ask is where? Di mana? So, these are the things that teacher cannot touch you. A teacher cannot 
teach you that something that you have to think on your own. Kamu perlu kreatif, kamu perlu fikir sendiri benda ni. Okay, who? Zubi and his family. What are they doing celebrate Hari Raya? Where? Okay, I put here at his grandfather's house in Kampung Baru. Okay, you can write. Okay, celebrating Hari Raya at uh, my grandfather house. Uh, where in in certain area in Perlis, you can write grandfather house in Ara, grandfather house, wherever it is. Okay, kemudian. These are the three questions you ask here. Who, what, and where. Okay, who? Zubair and his family. What are they doing? Celebrate Hari Raya. Where? At his grandfather's house in Kampung Baru. And I believe for those who are in year, five, year 4, year 5 and year 6, these are the words that is very familiar to you. You have no problem coming up with all these words. Like I said, you have to have a dictionary on your hand. Ada dictionary di tangan kamu. So, if you are stuck, kamu tersangkut dengan mana-mana perkataan that you are not sure, quickly go to the dictionary and write down. This is how you learn. Okay, uh, saya sendiri pun tak lahir pandai cik orang putih. Saya tak tak lahir, mum please give me some milk. Uh, kalau saya macam tu, mak saya akan pingsan. Okay, I learn. I learn English like you learn. Okay, you have to have a lot of vocabulary and you must have a good understanding on all this grammar aspect. Okay, articles, pronoun, articles, kemudian tenses, how to write in past tense, in present tense, you have to learn this. There's no shortcut, there's no other way. You must understand all the grammar aspect. Tata bahasa, kamu perlu tahu. Perkataan, kamu perlu ada. Okay, kemudian we go to the next one. The next question we're going to ask is uh, when. Okay, I am going to join all these four questions together. Who, what, where and when. So I put it in one slide for you to look at. Ask question when time sequence preposition of time. Bila? Bila Zubir menyambut Hari Raya bersama keluarganya di rumah datuknya di Kampung Baru. When? Last week. Hari Raya is last week. Okay, we celebrate Hari Raya last week. It's still in Hari Raya. But then the, the, the Hari Raya Eve is last week. Okay? Last week. So, when you have all these ideas, you have to put it in one paragraph. So, by right, if you put it last week, meaning you have to write everything in past tense, past continuous, past perfect, past participle, semuanya dalam tu. Okay? Baik, secara, secara khususnya, bila the first question that you need to ask is when? When you are writing a story, bilakah perkara ini berlaku? When did it? When did it took place? Bila? Then you will have a clear idea on the tenses that you are going to use. Jadi bila kamu dah ada when, baru kamu boleh tahu actions. What ni actions yang kamu nak tulis ni tenses je. Okay? Dalam past tense atau present tense. Bila kamu nak buat verb to be dia atau verb to have dia dalam present ke dalam past. Okay, ini yang banyak berlaku dalam kesalahan bila dalam penulisan. When you are writing, a lot of my children in school when they write, they have uh, they they made a lot of mistake in this area. Okay, last week. So when I put it in writing, okay, last week, Zube and his family went to his grandfather house in Kampung Baru Johor. Okay, Kampung Baru Johor tak ada saya tambah. This is to make my writing interesting to read. Okay, menarik untuk orang baca. To celebrate Hari Raya Aidilfitri. Dan kamu boleh masukkan di sini perasaan. Okay, how do they feel when they go to their grandfather's house to celebrate? They were happy, they enjoy themselves. Okay, yang tu yang kita dah bincang in my earlier sessions. Okay. Masukkan perasaan. How did they feel? Tapi hari ini, I will not uh, discuss on that. I hope you can put it your own. Okay? On your own. So, kita dah bincang. So, this is how you are going to practice what you have learned. And what are you going to put in here? Okay. Tengok. Kita patah balik. Kita tengok who, what, 
Where? Saya akan mulakan dengan soalan when. When is last week? Who is Zubay and his family? What are they doing? Celebrate Hari Raya. And where? At his grandfather's house in Kampung Baru. Okay, this is just nice. The flow is there. Okay, last week Zubay and his family went to his grandfather's house in Kampung Baru Johor to celebrate Hari Raya Idul Fitri. Right, we are concentrating on how to write a short story today. Okay, cerita pendek saja. Okay, kita tidak akan pergi secara detail. Okay, uh, what I want you to do today is that you apply what you have learned earlier in this type of writing. Okay, next slide. Okay. This is uh, the main incident that we want to tell. Perkara utama yang kita nak bincangkan dalam cerita ini. Tangan Zubir terkena bunga api. Okay. Baik, kita pergi. Soalan yang saya nak tanya. What happened that night? Apa yang berlaku pada malam hari raya itu? Kita tak perlu, tak boleh terus cerita from when they went to the grandfather's house. Tiba-tiba terus kena mercun. Okay. Cerita kamu uh, tidak ada perkembangan and it will not very interesting to read. Cerita kamu tidak menarik. So, kita cerita dulu. Before that, what happened? Okay. So, uh, I do not have you in front of me uh, for you to come here and write on the whiteboard. This is what I actually do. When we come up with an idea, kita ada satu-satu idea. We share the idea, we write it on the whiteboard and then we go and discuss how to put each and every idea in that uh, story. Okay? Tapi sini saya akan bagi semua. I hope you just jot down and you can try to do it on your own. Zubir's parents were busy helping to prepare ketupat and lembang for the celebration. Remember or not, earlier we discussed on verb to be, verb agreement. Okay, Zubir's parents. Okay, kedua ibu bapa Zubir. Jadi kita pakai were lah, were busy helping to prepare ketupat for the celebration. Nampak tak? Okay. And then kita tanya soalan. Where is Zubay and what is he doing? Di mana Zubay dan apa dia buat? Okay. Kita pergi kepada tajuk utama atau the, the, benda yang utama yang berlaku dalam cerita itu. Okay. Look at the picture. What is Zubay doing? Zubay is playing with sparkles. Okay. With firecrackers with sparkles. Uh, in front of the house at the yard. Okay. Zubi and his sister were in the yard. They were very excited to play with sparkler. Mereka sangat sonok bermain dengan bunga api. Okay. Ini cerita yang kita nak bagi tu awal tadi. Okay. The main story we are telling today. Tangan terkena bunga api. Okay. Baik, tengok. What is Zubi? What is he doing? If you look at the question here, I ask two question in one sentence. Earlier, my session earlier, we ask question by question by question what's happening in one one particular event, one event, one event. Okay, here, I ask two things in one sentence, in one question. Where is Zubay? One question. What is he doing? Apa yang dia buat? Nampak tak yang kita bincang tadi tu? That we discussed just now. Where? Di mana and what apakah yang dia buat so what is Zubay and what is he doing Zubay and his sister look at the picture Zubay is not alone Zubay is with her sister he's not alone okay dia tak seorang keseorangan dia main dengan adik dia ada orang dewasa there's no supervision from uh, adults tak ada langsung orang dewasa yang mengawasi perbuatan mereka ini Okay, Zubay and his sister were in the yard. They were very excited to play with sparkler. And then, saya masukkan di sini. Okay, saya kata cerita kita mesti ada perkembangan. Okay, he never asked for permission to light up, to light it up. Dia tak I minta izin pun daripada ibu bapa dia untuk menyalakan. Okay, these are the few words that sometimes kamu sangkut. Minta izin. What is minta izin? Okay. Permission. Guna dictionary. He never asked for permission to light up. To light it up. And his parents were unaware of what was going on. Dan ibu bapanya 
tidak menyedari apa yang berlaku. Kamu tengok sini perkataan ni. Ini yang saya kata tadi, kamu perlu tahu suffix and prefix. Okey. Banyak perkataan aware kita uh, kita tahu apa yang berlaku sekali. Unaware tidak mengetahui. Tambah an di depan saja. You have created a new words. Okey. Believe disbelief. Okey. Contoh macam tu. Aware unaware. Polite impolite. It will come uh, dia akan jadi macam uh, perkataan berlawanan erti lah. Okey. Dengan tambah suffix dan prefix saja. Okey. Kemudian His parents were unaware of what was going on. Tidak sedar apa yang berlaku. Okey, saya tanya soalan. Kamu tengok sini. Ask question 5W1H. Ini why. Okey, sini kita akan bincang panjang sikit. Kita akan bercakap pasal reasons because or infinitive to. Okey, soalannya. Was it a safe thing to do? Adakah selamat untuk kamu bermain bunga api tanpa pengawasan orang dewasa? Okey. For me, okay, this is my personal view. Memang tak ada bunga api, memang tak ada musuh rumah saya, diharamkan. Tak payah main. Senang. Tapi here, we want to write a story. We want to tell our audience, kita nak beritahu orang yang baca, that playing with sparkles and playing with all these uh, firecrackers are very dangerous. And it is not, actually it's not our culture. Okay? Bukan budaya kita pun. Okey, dia budaya orang lain, orang lain main dengan pengawasan. Okey, itu hak dia. Tapi for us for, untuk orang Islam tak payah mainlah. Okey. Only here the story is to tell you that it is dangerous to play with all these thing. Okey. What uh, was it safe to do uh, safe thing to do? But jawapannya no it is not. It is very dangerous without a doubt around. Sangat bahaya, terutamanya jika tidak ada orang dewasa mengawasi. Okey, soalannya. Kemudian tengok sewa ayat dia. The two siblings were very excited to light up the dangerous sparkler without adult supervision. Baik. Uh, saya pilih pe- uh, satu ayat yang mengandungi, ada banyak juga lah perkataan-perkataan yang susah. Okay, you have to use all this word actually. Kamu jangan larikan diri. Do not run from difficult words. Kamu boleh tukar dengan perkataan yang mudah. Tapi, in order for you to write a very interesting story, you have to use uh, words like this. Uh, not to say difficult word, but interesting word. Interesting expression for you to enable your readers to sustain uh, reading your story to sustain their interest untuk menarik minat orang membaca cerita kamu you have to use this type of words tak boleh okey kemudian tak boleh lari daripada perkara ini okey the two siblings dua adik beradik okey saya boleh cakap sini senang saja the uh, zube and his sister ayat yang mudah zube and his sister tapi saya tulis sini the two siblings siblings semua saya ada berdek were very excited to light up the dangerous sparkler without tanpa adult supervision ini perkataan besar yang saya guna sini pengawasan orang dewasa adult dewasa supervision pengawasan ok gunalah perkataan macam ni in, uh, for, uh, for you to enable you to write a very uh, interesting story but if you use the same same old same old words okay, same old words repeatedly berulang-ulang orang tidak akan berminat untuk membaca cerita kamu so you will not become a very good storyteller okay the two siblings go back to the sentence the two siblings were very excited to light up the dangerous sparkler without adult supervision tanpa pengawasan orang dewasa okay now, kalau kita tengok daripada awal tadi, cerita ini, yang tadi, kamu tengok di sini. Zubay parents were busy helping to prepare ketupat and lemang for the celebration. Kamu tengok apa yang berlaku cerita dalam kronologi, ada penanda wacana. Okey, ibu bapa dia sibuk di dapur membantu menyediakan juadah hari raya, lemang, ketupat, busy. So, Zubay and his sister were in the yard 
ada di halaman rumah they were very excited to play with sparkler mereka seronok bermain bunga api okey bermain tanpa pengetahuan he never asked for permission to light it up dia tak minta izin pun pada kedai bapa dia untuk menyalakan bunga api itu and his parents were unaware of what was going on okey dan ibu bapanya tidak tidak menyedari apa yang berlaku sebab tidak diberitahu they were not told the children never ask permission okey was it a safe thing to do no it is very dangerous so the two siblings were very excited to learn up the dangerous sparkler without adult supervision tanpa Okey, pengawasan orang dewasa. Okey, dah cerita tadi, mereka balik kampung, nak salat hari raya. Malam hari raya itu, ibu bapa sibuk di dapur. They are busy in the kitchen preparing all the lemang and the ketupat for hari raya. And the two the two siblings were in the yard. They are playing with sparkler, very dangerous, without adult supervision. And what happened? Okey, now, we look at the next aspect. Ask question. 5W1H on how process distance measurement quality how much how long how far kita akan bincang di sini okey yang saya perlu tekankan di sini you uh, you can use the question again and again how how many times you want to use in your story no problem bukan sekali saja no how why okey what happened kalau dicerita, kamu boleh guna banyak kali, bukan sekali. Di sini, I only have around 45 to 50 minutes to share it with you. So, I cannot show you uh, panjang. Jadi, saya tunjukkan di mana kita nak guna saja. Okey? Baik, tengok sini. How did Zubir's finger got burned? Okey, bagaimana tangan Zubir terbakar? Okey, ini yang kita kata di proses berlakunya sesuatu perkara itu. What happened? Okey? Panjang. In all the excitement, okay, ini perkataan besar. This is a big word so, okay. In all the excitement, dalam kusronokkan itu, Zube got careless. Zube menjadi cuai, and he was holding the fireworks. But nampak tak buat Zube kita guna di sini ialah was, because we are talking about things that had happened, perkara yang dah berlaku, okay. In 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 we are Telling things that happen berlaku. Kita cerita ni dia panggil present continuous tense. Okay, Zubi got careless and he was holding the firework too close to his fingers, and his fingers got burned. Ini yang terjadi. So not sangat uh, tak ada siapa yang larang. Okay, in all the assignments, Zubi got careless, so he hold the fireworks too close to his fingers, and his fingers got burned. Next question. He shouted and cried in pain as it was unbearable. Okay. Dia menjerit dan menangis kesakitan kerana kerana uh, sakit itu tidak tidak tertahan oleh dia unbearable. Okay. He shouted and cried in pain. Okay. These are the words that you can use to make your story interesting to read. Okay, interesting to read. Jadi kamu tahu di sini kita tahu he shouted and cried in pain and it was unbearable. Kita kita boleh bermain dengan perasaan pembaca kita. We can touch them. Oh sakit. Okay. And then saya bagi tahu bila kita dah tulis a good comprehension must have closure and of course bila ada penutup this is what this is my suggestion. When we write a story, we should add in uh, good moral value, nilai-nilai murni. Okay, when we tell a story, apa tujuan kita cerita pasal kanak-kanak main bunga api? We want to tell them a good moral value that is dangerous to play uh, bunga api ni. And what, uh, apa yang kamu perlu buat, Okay, apa yang kamu perlu lakukan yang mempunyai nilai-nilai yang baik. Okay, kemudian good moral value. Okay, I write this type of sentence. Zubi was taken to the nearby clinic. Zubi dihantar ke klinik berdekatan. His parents scolded him. Ibu bapa dia memarahi beliau. Scolded tu bukan tabuh, no? bukan pukul. Scolded tu maksudnya menegur, marah, tegur. Okay, teguran yang tegas. Scolded him. 
he promised that he will never play with sparkler again okey ini nilai-nilai murni yang kita nak masukkan dia berjanji kepada ibu bapanya dan dia tidak akan lagi bermain dengan bunga api okey this is just a short story i'm using the 5w and 1h in one event one event and one event satu-satu perkara saja untuk tunjuk kepada kamu bagaimana kamu nak guna Okay, it doesn't mean uh, that's what the the topic today. That is why the topic is write short stories, menulis cerita pendek. Shut write short story. Saya nak tunjuk bagaimana kamu nak guna the five W and one H and how to use it to write an interesting story to read. Okay, I hope uh, kamu dapat apa yang saya juga sampaikan hari ini. And you can go to the Facebook. And watch this again and again Kamu boleh tengok berulang kali Sepanjang minggu ini Supaya kamu boleh tulis Satu persatu Kamu boleh pergi satu persatu Kamu boleh pause dan kamu boleh tengok You can able to write Okay, what you can do afterward is You select a topic Bukanlah tangan terkena mecun Katalah apa-apa uh, Melawat kebun durian Melawat kebun buah-buahan And write using the way using the spider web just now you list lang okay you jot down you brainstorm ideas and try it. and the most important thing is children that you must have a dictionary with you or uh, you can ask others for the meaning of word and how to spell it but um agak agak tak berapa bagus kalau kamu tanya orang ni sebab kamu tak belajar sendiri if you look for the words in dictionary then you learn Benda yang kita cari sendiri, kita belajar, kita akan ingat sampai bila-bila. Okay, next. Jadi, begitu. In all the excitement, Zubay got callous and he was holding the fireworks too close to his fingers and his fingers got burned. He shouted and cried in pain as it was unbearable. Apa yang unbearable? The pain. Kesakitan itu tidak dapat ditanggung. Zubay was taken to the nearby clinic. His parents called him. He promised that he will never play with Sparkler again. Okay, habis. Write short story senang, okay. Apa jadi kita kan? Itu yang jadi sebenarnya, okay. Now Zubay have to celebrate Hari Raya dengan tangan yang berbalut. Itu cerita yang kita nilai-nilai yang kita nak sampaikan bahaya bermain bunga api, okay. What will happen to you, okay? Now thank you for listening. Kita ada lebih kurang lagi lima minit sama-sama. Terima kasih kerana you spend your time uh, to listen to me, to watch me today. And I hope we can meet again in the near future. Kita akan jumpa lagi dalam sesi berikutnya. Insya Allah jika umur kita panjang. And then, uh, nak share with you how to be a good storyteller. Bagaimana kamu nak menjadi seorang penyampai cerita yang bagus. Pertama, brainstorm. Jot down all ideas. Kamu cari idea apa yang kamu nak tulis, kamu tulis. Okay, jot down. Ini cara dia. Kemudian, use dictionary to find interesting words to use. Kalau kamu ada perkataan yang menarik, yang bahasa Melayu, but you do not have the word in English, what you have to do is to look for the word in dictionary and jot it down. Then what must you do? Write story with good flow of ideas. Kamu kena ingat. Pernah ada wacana, kronologi cerita, apa yang berlaku, apa yang berlaku. Dia tak boleh terus saja jadi benda tu. Okey, balik kampung, malam raya, ibu bapa di dapur, baru main mercun, baru kena mercun, pergi klinik. Okey, kamu tulis flow itu dulu. Kamu catat, catatkan dengan bertanya soalan 5W1H tadi. Okey, baik, remember. Ini memang every week I will remind you dan tadi pun saya dah sebut, dictionary is your best friend. Okay, I hope I have shared a good thing for you today and you have learned a lot from me and I hope uh, sepanjang kamu ada di rumah ni, you do not go to school, uh, duduk, take around half an hour, 45 minutes, one hour to write down, to try to write down a story on your own. Okay, baik, saya akan berhenti di sini. I hope that I will see you again uh, in the next session. InsyaAllah. Sekali lagi, saya nak mengucapkan selamat Hari Raya and please stay at home. Kita dah hampir-hampir menang dah melawan COVID-19. So, please stay at home. Jaga kebersihan. Wash your hands with soap. 
ha, tak perlulah pakai sanitizer sentiasa tak kamu hanya perlu basuh tangan kamu 10 saat dengan sabun okey and please stay at home uh, sama hari raya again and saya akan berhenti di sini wabillahi taufik wa hidayah assalamualaikum warahmatullahi